All right, let's look at the Wales team then. Johan Cunningham has named an unchanged starting 15 for this one following Wales' 25-8 victory against Italy in round one. Open side Harry Deves earned the man of the match nod last week and he takes his place again alongside captain Alex Mann in the back row and the powerful Carwin Tuipalotu. With several debuts under the belt last week across the side, expect even greater emphasis on the game management from fly-half Sam Costello, who will work in tandem with Scarlet's teammate and scrum-half Harry Williams. Joe Hawkins is the cool, experienced head at 12. For Ireland, Richie Murphy makes six personnel changes for round two after their win over Scotland. Alex Kendellan once again captains the side from the back row. Up front, Jack Boyle and Mark Donnelly are promoted from the bench, while Alex Soroka moves from the back row to join Sheridan at lock. Donica Byrne in at six. Well, it's Wales who get round two of the under-26 nations. Going under their campaign. Find. Sit. Sit. Ireland with Osborne directly behind the scrum. We've got Ben Moxon over on the right wing. Dope looks to be feeding it to Ford, who's going room one and over the line. Short formation, he's already edging in front of the 10. He runs that short line, and because of the angle, he can get right at the outside of Deves on the inside of Williams. And there is no stopping that. Costello knows it's coming as a 10, but he's in no man's land. Sirok is such push a ball back, player. Man, push back! Player Dante's offside. Here come Ireland once more. The man taken out off the ball there as well. Don't very clever tactic. Offside. Williams taking out the scrum half, knowing it'd be slow ball without him there. Corkery for Jennings. Then Ford. He just got himself back into a position to be able to come onto that ball at pace, and it was a good opportunity to give Ireland some more yards. Then it was Boyle, and then Osborne, and then picking out Cosgrave. Streaks under the posts. UCD man starting in place of Josh O'Connor gets Ireland's second try. Speed of ball because of the options available. So many chances. There's the gap. Osborne spots it because the defender stepping in. Costello again not able to stop him. The Irish winger finds the gap and burns through it. Don't. Really nicely taken on, he spotted the room down the touchline, Don't swats off Harry Williams, has Osborne in support, Osborne scrags back to Don't, Don't in the corner, the nonchalant finish, and what a start to the second half for the Irish. Defenders gives it back to Doak. what an angle this is to witness, what he does, bounces on the inside and then collect. Need to short this time. Well, through the inboard, I got Sakra Hani. Now there's room, round the corner, well, nobody guarding that side, and Alex Another drive from Wales, no, right. just a no. metre short this time. Well, through the inboard, I got Sakra Hani. Now there's room, round the corner, nobody guarding that side, and Alex Mann, the skipper. Well, he's walloped that over the touch side in the corner. Once another bit of catch and drive. Move! Catch has been affected. Red on the ground. He was on the ground, but where is it now? It's there for Lloyd. Back, back! Ireland trying to disrupt. Tui Pilotti. Trying to get inside Soroka. Costello, oh, they're running around the outside here now. Hawkins, the ball to the corner, the finish, the tries there. Scored by Carrick McDonough. He had a little bit of work to do, but he did just enough. But great interplay. This is what Wales have done all game. Two below two, absorbing those defenders. The quick hands in the middle, the playing behind, and the overlapping space out wide. Jutter in step, and Doak, as good as he's been in this game, was not able to stop the Welsh flyer out wide. Two meters. Saunderson, Illo, okay, thank Morrissey. You. Play on. A keke as well. It's going to go up to Whoa. one of the men who's been on all evening so far. Sheridan brings it down. Line out caller. And now they twist towards the corner. And Ireland are over. It's the fourth try and the bonus point for the men in green. Something they practice often. Messed around the numbers all game, Irish. Because of the shortened version. Get the turn at the front. And then there's no stopping them. To Butler for Sheridan. Whoa. Working as 
role at the line out. He's also carried 45 metres in the game, Sheridan. And here come the Irish. They're looking to get over for a fifth try. Really is red. Really is red. They're that close. Burrowing down the short side. Candelan over the top. And it'll be the cherry on the cake for the Irish skipper. This guy's got a burning bright future. And what an education he must have had in the ranks at Munster. And there's every single ounce of him to suggest he's on the next conveyor belt. And the man whose name flashes up as player of the match <laughs> will complete the last act. Clear behind the posts.